Welcome back! I am so excited that you're here for another video. My name is Miss Naya. This is Naya's Learning Corner. Today we are going to be practicing our shapes. So I have a bunch of shapes right here for us to do. See what kind of shapes I have. I have this one. What shape is this one? A triangle. Then I have a star and a square. And a whoop, popped away, and a circle. So I have some shapes for us to try today. And the materials that we will need is these Play-Doh mats. If you want to follow along, you can download and print off these Play-Doh mats at my website. If you go at the bottom, you can click the link that says nayaslearningcorner.com. It will take you to there to download these, and you can use your Play-Doh at home for them. Along with the Play-Doh mats, we will need some Play-Doh, some Play-Doh tools, which is a roller pan, a roller pan, and a spatula for our Play-Doh. If you don't have that, that is okay. We can just use your hands. So to start off, I'm going to start with which one did we say this one was again? A circle. I'm going to start with the circle. Ooh, my Play-Doh is cold. So I have some Play-Doh, got my circle, and I'm going to use my rolling pin to flatten it out. So break down. Push and roll. If you don't have your rolling pin, you can use your hands, the palm of your hands, and push it with your hands. You can use the tips of your fingers to push, to shape it into a circle. So I'm just using the circle guidelines on the Play-Doh mat to make sure it stays inside to get that circle shape. So I'm just using my fingers and pushing it out. And just like that, I have a blue Play-Doh circle. I can even pull it up. Now I have a circle. And let's try a different shape. And this time, instead of filling the square, I think we're going to use the Play-Doh to make a square. So I'm going to roll it in between my hands. Row, 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 row. Roll it out. It looks like a worm. And then it... It looks like a big giant worm. I'm going to take it and put it on the line of our... Wait! Did I show you what shape it was? It's a square! Can't forget to show you what shape we're doing, guys. I have a square. So I'm going to put it on the line of our square. Lay it down. Then I get one line. Then I have another piece, lay it down. I have two lines down and I need to make more. So I'm gonna grab some more and roll it out. Roll. Now that I have all the lines covered with Play-Doh, I have a square. Here's my square. <gasps> Maybe don't pick it up. <laughs> I'm going to remake the square. Uh-oh. Let's try this again. Put it back together. It's okay if we mess up sometimes. We can always try again. Put it back together. This time when I show you guys, I will be really careful this 
is my square. <laughs> so careful with it so it does not fall apart again on me. I made a Play-Doh square. So now that we have that one done, let's try a different shape. And what shape is this? This is a star! So we have a star. And now that we found out different ways how to make a shape using Play-Doh, which way do you like better? Do you like when we feel the whole shape? Or do you like when we roll them out and do the lines of the shape? I'm going to feel the whole shape of the star and then maybe on our next shape we can do the lines again so this way I flatten it out with my hands or I can use my rolling pin roll it and then I can use the spatula to push it into the lines I'm almost finished and I still have a space that's not filled with Play-Doh. So I'm going to grab some more Play-Doh. Add it right into this corner. Look! Now it's all filled and I have a star! I wonder if I can pick this star up. another shape we have another shape but what shape is it has three sides it's a triangle so for our triangle I think I'm gonna roll them out and make three sides and connect them so I'm gonna grab a piece and roll it with my hands roll it back and forth have one, lay that down on one side of the triangle, make another one, roll it, have another one, lay this down on the second side of the triangle. I already have two sides so that means I just need one more side to make it a triangle. Here's my last one and connect them. And look what I made. I did a triangle, guys. See if I move this triangle. Whoa, I picked it up. And for my last Play Doh mat, I have a house. This house is made up of three shapes. And sometimes when you put shapes together, they make a picture. So if you look at the top of my house, the top is a triangle. This part, it goes up, down, and if we draw a line, it will be our third side to make us a triangle. And the bottom of this shape is a square. The bottom of this is a square. And then the door is a rectangle. So let's try to make those shapes and see if we can make a house. So remember our triangle had three sides, so we're going to do one, that's two, and then our last one would be three. So the roof of my house is a triangle, you can see right here, and we're going to make a square at the bottom one side how many sides does a square have a square has four sides so our triangle has three sides and a square has four sides and to make it a square all the same all the sides are the same size they're all equal so here's this add it right here 
We're going to add one more. See if you guys can see my square. So my square is right here. One, two, three, four sides. They're all equal and it makes a square. If I move my triangle up a little bit, maybe you guys can see a little bit better of my square. So here's my square and here's my triangle. Put them together and I get a house. We have to get inside of our house, so we have to make a door also. And the shape of our door was a rectangle, remember? So take our Play-Doh. Only have a little bit left, so I'm going to go ahead and open up another Play-Doh. And roll this together too. The rectangle has four sides too. The rectangle has four sides just like the square. But the only difference is the rectangle sides are not all the same. They're not all equal. Two of the sides are long and two of them are short. That's what gives us our rectangle. Here's side number four. See if I can lift this up to show you guys my rectangle. So the rectangle is right here. I have two long sides and two short sides. What gives me a rectangle. And if I put them all together, the rectangle, the square, and the triangle, I get a house. What are some other things you can build using shapes? Did you know if you put a triangle and a circle on top, you get an ice cream cone? Shapes are all around us. You just have to open your eyes and look. Look, this is a circle. I even have a circle right here. It's a ball. I'm all done with the Play-Doh mats. Don't forget to clean up your space and click the red button at the bottom to subscribe so you never miss a video. I'm so excited that you did Play-Doh with me today. Maybe you're not done with Play-Doh. You want to do some more? Go down and find when I made a Play-Doh turkey. That was so fun to do together. You can go back and watch that and try again. I will see you guys again. Have a good day. Bye.